Okay, folks, welcome back. So I'm super excited about the newly designed Light Chaser Pro for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you want to turn your iPhone into a professional camera, then this filter system is a great option for you. For those that are new, Polar Pro is a California-based company that produces high-quality accessories for cameras. And I like how they strive to make the best product possible. I have done a couple of reviews on the Light Chaser Pro in the past, which are on my channel, by the way, and I can really see how these improvements are being put into action every year. So in this video, I wanted to take a closer look at the newly designed case and filter system, show you the improvements that have been made and how you can use it to get the cinematic results in your video. So I took the Light Chaser Pro out to the test with my buddy Ennis, who is helping me out in this video. He's going to be shooting all of those delicious B-roll shots of me with the Light Chaser Pro, and he also owns one for himself, actually. <laughs> yeah, I really love it, and I use my filters, and since then, I couldn't really move it. Anyway, thanks Ennis for making me look good in the video. So before we start, I want to thank Polar Pro for sponsoring this video and providing me with the full lineup of the new filters and the lenses. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the lenses yet since it will be arriving in about a month. For that reason, I will be focusing on what I have currently, including the filter system and show you some of the changes they have made to their new lineup. So let's first look at the case. The case is built nicely, feels high quality as what you would expect from Polar Pro. It's robust, which is great because I want the iPhone 13 Pro Max to be protected. It's also MagSafe compatible, so I can charge my iPhone wirelessly without having to remove the case. It is also available in three different colors, black, sage, and glacier. And also this case works as the backbone as you will need it to mount the filters, lenses, and grip. Now you also get a grip that can be attached to the mounting points on the case, which provides more uh, stability when shooting handheld. It also adds a little bit of weight to the camera, which is great for achieving a more natural looking handheld shot. Now the grip is well made, it feels comfortable and fits my hand size. And what's cool is that with the different mounting points, I can change the position of the grip to suit my shooting style. Now, I generally have it to the side like this because it allows me to shoot horizontally and also vertically. Now, if you want to film yourself with the rear camera, you can attach the grip to the front like this and film yourself this way or that way. But I actually prefer mounting a mini tripod uh, and have the grip uh, at the center. And as you can see below, you have a one quarter screw mount, which is useful for mounting it on tripods. This way I can use it as a vlogging camera like this. Now this is the Rode VideoMic Mi L and unfortunately I can't attach it to the side of the phone because the case blocks it. But Polar Pro has now provided the cold shoe mount on top of the grip to mount various accessories such as a microphone which helps expand the setup. And this is how it would look like using the cold shoe mount with the Rode Video Micro. There's also a Bluetooth shutter which I haven't received yet. I talked about this in the previous video using the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Since I couldn't test it out, I can't really say if there have been improvements made, but from the previous version, it worked well with the native camera app, but not so well with Filmic Pro. In general, I like how they kept the Bluetooth shutter as it allows me to shoot faster and is a more convenient way to trigger the record button, just like on DSLR cameras than having to use the touch screen. So let's move on to their filter system. Now, when mounting the filters on the case, it feels secure and uh, it doesn't fall off. I can easily leave the filters and actually also the cap on it when putting it in my pocket. This also allows me to be quicker when it comes to run and gun shooting. So first we got the CP filter, which stands for circular polarizer and helps cut out reflections of water or windows by twisting the filter. It can also be used to bring out the colors, especially in the skies when using it on bright sunny days. This is also a great option for mobile photographers that want to get more out of their image. Then there is the three to five and newly six to seven stop variable neutral density filter that helps cut out light by twisting the filter. This way with Filmic Pro, you can achieve a natural looking motion blur in your video. If you're not familiar with Filmic Pro, it basically turns your iPhone into a high-end camera by giving you full control over your camera. Now when filming in 4K 25 frames per second and having your shutter speed one over 50 of a second, 
without having your image overexposed, your videos already look more natural and filmic. And you won't have that constant sharp look in your video. Now, I would recommend getting the VND with six to seven stop if you plan on shooting in bright conditions. The previous model didn't have the six to seven variable ND filter option, so I'm happy they made it. Next on the line are the FX or special effect filters that you can use to give your videos a creative look. Starting with the mist filter, you have the option to choose a fixed or variable mist filter. I would go for the variable mist filter since the fixed one won't give you the option to reduce the amount of light when shooting in bright conditions. So not only do you get a built-in VND filter, but also a diffuser that gives your videos a creative look. The mist filter softens the highlights and creates a haze around bright objects, creating a dream-like cinematic glow. Now on our last music video shoot together with Mobile Motion, we used a mist filter that created a cinematic glow behind the singer, which made the shot look more interesting. I personally love using the mist filter since it adds depth and makes the shot look dreamier. So let's look at the new Morphic Streak filters. There is a blue and gold Morphic Streak filter that adds professional anamorphic style flares to your shots without the need of having to buy an anamorphic lens, which generally costs more. These streak filters create a similar look to the streak flare you see in anamorphic lenses and are noticeable when filming against bright light sources or reflection. It adds a unique characteristic to your videos and is a popular and stylistic choice amongst mobile filmmakers. Another benefit of using a morphic streak filter instead of an anamorphic lens is that you don't have to use a third-party app like Filmic Pro. Since using an anamorphic lens requires you to de-squeeze the image in post, to make it look normal. Having these horizontal lens flare can really make your videos stand out. And by simply adding a letterbox in post, you can get that cinematic widescreen look. Important to note is that the Morphic Streak filters are compatible with the wide and tele lens on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. With the ultra wide angle lens, the lines show up in the image. Now, if you plan to use the Light Chaser Pro with a gimbal, I recommend getting a smartphone gimbal such as the M3 by Zion that has strong motors. This way you can create complex moving shots and what's great is that you can leave the handle on the case and use the quick release button on the M3 to instantly get handheld shots with the Light Chaser Pro. So this is really awesome. The DJI OM5 is a good gimbal if you use the iPhone 13 Pro Max just with its body, but with a case and filter, you will experience issues. The filmmaking kit starts at around $125, which is expensive, but if you plan on using filters for your iPhone 13 Pro Max, it's best to use high quality glass to get the best image quality possible. I mean, you have an excellent camera that can capture 4K, 10-bit HDR Dolby Vision in ProRes, so you might as well use high quality glass. If not, it's like having good spaghetti, but eating it with ketchup. My Italian friends won't like that. Now, as for my final thoughts on the Light Chaser Pro, uh, it is a great accessory to have, especially for mobile filmmakers that need a minimalistic setup and want to produce cinematic video results. It really turns your iPhone into a pocket cinema camera as it not only feels professional when using it, but with their creative filters, you can control and shape the light uh, to your preference to get the look you want. Something that I hope Polar Pro will create in the future is a two-staged filter system for greater light control as you don't have the option to add an ND to the Morphic Streak filter currently. I'm also hoping for a more universal mount system because I think for people that use other lenses, it would be more cost effective. Otherwise, I'm happy with what they created. Uh, the Light Chaser Pro is an awesome product to have. And if you're someone that is looking to create high-end mobile content, the Light Chaser Pro has all the essential tools you need. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, let me know. Make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any of my upcoming smartphone filmmaking tutorials. As some of you might know, I'm working on an online course called Smartphone Filmmaking that will help you create awesome videos with your smartphone. Now, if you don't wanna miss this opportunity, make sure to sign up for the waitlist as it will be launching soon. Also make sure to join the private smartphone filmmaking group to share your work and get feedback from others. If you're new to filming with a smartphone, I have a free guide available that you can download on my website that will help you get started making quality videos 
with your phone. Now enough of the quality videos, now it's time for you to get out and shoot because only by practicing will you get better. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you guys the next time.